Hey guys, welcome back to another video in this channel. Today, I actually have a really cool surprise for you. It's going to be a short video because uh, the tool that I'm about to show you, it's rather simple, but um, it's pretty cool. So what is it I'm talking about? Well, give me just one second here. And let's go over here. There we go. So uh, there's this site called Production Crate. And uh, this might be a little bit more useful for those of you that are into compositing and the post-production and stuff like that. It's a really handy site. Uh, it has a lot of uh, cool things. Some of them are free, some of them are paid, uh, but they just released this thing, which is amazing, Godrace. It's a free uh, plugin for After Effects, um, and it allows us to create Godrace in a super, super fast way. Uh, God rays are one of those things that it's always a little bit difficult to to like work with because it it it's very heavy, right? We need to create a fog and then uh, fog makes the scene very heavy. And once we have that, we need to make sure the lights are working properly. And even though it is possible to do in the render, it's usually a lot faster to do it in post production. But the problem is that to do proper like good, good God rays in post production, you needed to do a lot of tweaking and, and layering stuff in in After Effects or in other softwares. And um, this plugin does it pretty much for free. Now, there's a couple of things that I want to mention. Uh, first of all, it is free. However, you do need to create a, um, a an account. And when you create an account, you're going to get this. And you're going to be like, wait a second. Why am I getting uh, like charged for something that's supposed to be free? You need to change this to monthly. And then you need to go down here. And if you don't want to donate uh, the $15 per month, you just like click that. Say, no, I can't help for now. And um, this is going to give you, again, just a limited access to some of the things that they uh, give out for free. And uh, you are going to get uh, five downloads per day, right? So if you see that a lot of the things that this uh, site offers are good, then feel free to subscribe. I don't do a lot of post-production, but I do find this plugin really, really handy. Once you have that, you need to download the plugin. And the only thing you need to do, we're going to use this image right away for the, for the example. The only thing you need to do is um, it's a zip folder. So you just navigate to either Mac or Windows and at this little thing right here, the uh, plugin itself, you need to move it and drag it into your um, After Effects plugin folder, which for instance, in my case, if I go to software, software, I have another like hard drive for all of the softwares. Here I have my After Effects support files and then you go into plugins. I created a new folder called Godrace and that's where I dropped the Godrace. Once you do this, and if you jump back into, into After Effects and you go to your effects, you can just type in Godray and you're going to find Crates Godrays. So how does this work? It's amazing. I, I honestly don't know how it works like on the <laughs> mathematical side of things. Uh, but let's add some Godrays to this. A very nice little guy from our um, complete guy to, to Maya. So I'm going to grab the Crate Godrays and I'm just going to drag and drop it onto this layer right here. And that's it. We get Godrays. So the cool thing about this is that we can move this God race around and select where we want the God race to be originating from. So for instance, if we go to the eyes, as you can see right here, the eyes are going to be like extruding light, if you wish. God rays are a thing that happens with, um, what's the word, with, uh, with the camera. So you can see, even if I place this on, on the other side of the Jenga tower, since the Jenga tower is really dark, we're not going to get as many God rays. It's actually working right now with uh, with the luminosity of your image. So the parts of your image that are more luminous will be uh, creating the God rays. And the ones that are dark are not going to create the God rays. So for instance, if we move this to the TV and we want the TV to do it, which by the way, we can move it out of screen, as you can see right here. It's going to give us a nice effect, but let's go like roughly about there, we can get this. There's a couple of uh, things that I've been playing around with. Uh, this literally dropped today, so, um, so it's completely, completely new. Um, and there's two modes, spin, which is going to give us a weird sort of effect, which again, anything can be animated, by the way. Uh, if you've used uh, After Effects before, you know that anytime you see this little clock, that means that you can animate that layer, so you can do some crazy stuff right there. The position is this thing that we have right here. I can move the position, like I can create an animation where the position just moves around and it does uh, this specific effect. Um, the length of the god rays, of course, so depending on how intense or not I want the god rays to be, uh, the, the more intense they are, the softer they're going to be, the more like, the shorter they are, the more like crunched uh, the colors might uh, look. So I'm going to keep this high. Exposure, of course, is how, how intense the god rays are going to be. You can use this to fade, for instance. If you want to do like a fade out with a god ray, you can animate the exposure as well. 
Uh, but again, here we can play with this uh, sort of stuff. Look at that. Even the, the planks of the TV are giving me like different god rays because there's not a lot of light on the black areas, which is <laughs> quite nice. Uh, decay, this is pretty cool. Uh, whether we want the god rays to go like really, really far out or we want them to stop uh, shorter at a shorter distance, which again gives us, gives us a nice, uh, interesting effect. The direction, this is very important. This is how we're going to see the god rays. In this case, they're going from the pixels out. Well, we can change them and say go from the pixels in. So that means towards the, the point of origin that we did, uh, like uh, selected here, or both, right? I don't think it looks that good on both sides, so I'm going to keep it at in. Uh, we do have a little bit of chromatic aberration that we can add. So sometimes um, with God Race, there's going to be like a split in the colors. You can tweak this around here. It's barely visible, but you can see how it, it changes the, the hues and the colors in certain areas of the image. Might give you an interesting result. Uh, what else? Uh, the channels that it's affecting, the quality over here. And then uh, it was here on the input options. We have uh, the Luma option and we have the thresholds. So the threshold, uh, first of all, the threshold mode is how it's like generating the rays. Luma means illumination or, or the lightness of the image. That's why I mentioned that uh, it's using in this case uh, the, the character. So one question that some of you might have is like, well, I do like this, but how could I make it so that only the TV does this, right? We'll probably need to create another layer with the same image, mask everything out except for the TV, and then only use the effect on that specific area, right? This, of course, requires a little bit more work here instead of After Effects, but the plugin really makes it easy to, to do. Uh, if not, you can try and use a chroma, uh, which we don't have right now, so it's nothing that's going to happen, but you could create a mask and, and use a chroma key to um, to select where you want the, the elements to be coming from. And the, the threshold is like how, how sensitive it's going to be to light. So as you can see, if I increase the threshold here, it's going to go to the higher points first, which in this case are the emissive uh, elements, like the little lights of the of the character and a little bit of the TV. Uh, we can also change the smoothness of this threshold to, to like let some other things like throw racing to the scene or not. Uh, again, just feel free to experiment with this one. Pretty, pretty cool. I'm going to keep it really high for now. Uh, quality over here, we can go to an extreme quality and it should give us a, a better result. It's going to, of course, uh, have a hit on the performance. I'm going to keep it in moderate for now. Uh, in compositing, uh, yeah, this is the blend mode. So right now, what's happening here is uh, we are um, we are doing like a blend. Like this is the image that's being generated, and then when we uh, add the opacity, we bring the other like the, the original image uh, in. Uh, we can change this to add, for instance. It's going to give us a slightly different result. In this case, it's brighter, which I actually like. Um, and we can of course play around with these things and again generate interesting effects. So this is it, guys. I mean, this is again a pretty, pretty cool, uh, pretty, pretty cool plugin, I would say. Uh, this is just a still image that I'm using for this example, but I just want to make like let you guys know that uh, it is possible to do this for a video. Again, once you add more controllers, you use some of like the chroma options, or you mask certain areas of the element, you're gonna be able to create something else. Let me show you what I mean by the masking. Let me see if it <laughs> if it works. So I'm gonna duplicate this layer, and then the bottom layer it's not gonna have god rays. And then this layer right here, I'm going to go to my uh, like uh, pen mask. And I'm going to mask only the TV. There we go. And then on that mask, I'm going to invert it. And there we go. So now, as you can see, the god rays are only going to be working on that a specific area. So I would need to go probably to the to the god rays here and play around with the, with the intensity of the god rays. You can see how they are affecting the scene. I might need to, of course, like change the, like move the mask a little bit so that we can, oop, so we can see a little bit of the god rays coming from, from that specific area. But that would be one way in which we could do a little bit of control um, with the uh, with the element. Uh, and I'm sure there's better ways. Again, I'm not really a compositor. I don't do a lot of compositing myself. Uh, most of the things I work in is production. But as you can see, uh, I do believe this is a really, really, really strong option for the um uh for after effects so uh it's free you download the plugin once and you don't need to worry just make sure you don't subscribe to the payment unless you want to do it because i did get a window where it sent me to my paypal to link the paypal and they want to charge me 15 dollars per month the, the donation just make sure if you don't want to donate don't donate if you want to support this sort of stuff then of course uh donate uh but yeah hopefully i'm not gonna get anyone in trouble with a a um a surprise, a charge at the end of the month. Uh, but yeah, this is it, guys. Thank you very much. I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye-bye.